Welcome back to the Zim Dog. We are uh, <clears throat> primarily catching some some sharks here. So instead of my normal long-winded videos, I thought we'd try to just uh, do a short one here. Unfortunately, I don't think this is the biggest shark. Um, this is a, a smaller guy, but I will say we've hit a bunch of them. We haven't hit the big one yet. Uh, they've all been pretty modest in size. Um, but there's something to be said about how much value there is in catching any size sharks. And uh, we'll, we'll find out how much they are worth here in a minute. Uh, but I've really enjoyed this spot. And it's not a spot that I expected to bring this really big setup and um, come fishing for shark. But that's kind of the way it's worked out. Uh, if you've been in my stream lately, you've seen me use this or similar setups quite often uh, at various places on the map as we try to find some big shark, big halibut, uh, big other fish. But um, oddly enough, I've caught the most shark, another nice 24 poor beagle. Now, I think this size poor beagle actually adds up very nicely. We get them in pretty quick, right? and uh and they add up so um since i moved to this spot which that's going to be right here you see the time difference so almost an hour ago we had a 35 poor beagle two spiny 57.8 greenland shark so they are possible here 13 poor beagle whiting 1.1 spiny cusk 10.3 atlantic cod small spiny you can see the overnight hours here and then a 24 kilo poor beagle all right so let me show you where we are we're right here at the 41 meter hole and the difference is like obviously a lot of things you cast here you're gonna get a, a huge range variety of fish and a lot of them a lot smaller safe mackerel etc uh, but by using this particular setup that we're using we're avoiding, avoiding most of that and hooking into shark primarily. I can't say exclusively, obviously, but primarily. So we're doing the normal setup here. Pilker rig, 181. If you have a medium boat rod, this is the setup you're familiar with. We're using the 800, although some of the 1,000 level pilkers lures could probably work as well this has just kind of been my jam today it's been fun using this pilker number two 800 and the theme that you'll see here is 10 -0 or 12 -0 hooks we are using a rattle i think that's debatable we're not catching any wolf fish here so i'm not sure the rattle's even doing much for us fire tube large fillet this is important part and then you just start moving your way down the, the rig just notice the hook sizes i mean and the size of the squid. You could try different colors. I'm not sure the colors even matter that much. Um, perhaps they do, but this is what I've been using on this rig uh, for what it's worth. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. I'll show you really quick because this is sometimes interesting. We'll see if any of them actually came in on the lure itself versus the uh, natural squid. See, most times when you're using these squid, they get such a good bite rate, that's what's going to get the, the, uh, the bite first. But every once in a while, see even the Greenland shark on natural squid, every once in a while you'll have something that will come in on the lure. Um, so natural squid. So a lot of natural squid. Does that mean that you could use any lure? I'm not sure if that's what that means or not. I think it's all a combination. It kind of works together. Um, but let me know what you think. All right, let me let me spawn in. I think uh, to, before we wrap this up, I think it's only fair to say like, well, let's see how much silver this is worth. And, and honestly, I'm not sure because these aren't the biggest shark. Um, I do think you could probably get lucky and catch a little bit bigger shark out here. This is what we've gotten in the last 50 minutes or so. All right, be right back.
By the way, I should say, first of all, all I'm doing is letting it drop to the bottom because the, the lures and baits and everything are so big, you're hardly ever getting a bite on the drop, very rarely. Mostly what's happening is you're getting it down to 41 meters and you're just doing the pilker, pilkering it at the bottom till you get a, a bite. If it takes you a few minutes to get a bite, that's okay. Just be consistent and keep going. The reason why it's taking a little bit longer to get a bite is because you're not catching all those smaller fish. You're waiting on the big fish, right? Um, by the way, yeah, catching those small, oh, I bet we, we could go get both of these quests finished probably. Um, okay. All right. So let's see what we're doing here. So full net, I've got 1339, but let's see just since we moved spots, which is starting right here. All right, so right here, including the sharks. So just under an hour, over a thousand silver. And all of these are small enough that you potentially could get them all in on a 60 kilo setup. Because if you've caught them, you'll know that the Greenland sharks are actually pretty easy to get in for their size. But I think it is possible that you could get hook into something bigger that you're not going to want to have the 60 kilo restriction. You're going to want to be able to overload that some. Um, and plus, obviously, you need a medium boat rod anyway to have the test high enough to use all of this heavy stuff on one rod. So anyway, there you go. There is some shark fishing at 41 meter hole today. Uh, June 19th had a stream earlier today, but wanted to get you a little bonus content here in the evening. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Tight lines, everybody.